Good evening, and welcome back to the Coding Fanatic YouTube channel. This is your host, Richard Clark, and uh, if you're liking the content on this channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can see when new videos like this are uploaded each week. Now, getting into our video. When you have you ever built an app and wondered how do they build that that bar at the top that that information that shows me text or something about the app you know this bar right here well this is called the action bar and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to create your own custom action bar so to get things started let's go to uh, Android Studio okay the first thing we're going to do here is add a custom layout to our application. Now, the purpose of this layout will be to create the styling that we're going to use in the action bar. That's, you know, it's going to look way better than this custom whatever that we have here. So uh, let's call it custom layout or custom action bar and hit finish. Okay. And yes, I will add this to Git. Thank you very much. All right, so our custom action bar XML layout file has been created, and we're going to make a few changes to our main activity.java file. So let's head back to uh, Visual Studio and take a look at this. All right, so we're here in our main activity.java file, and what we're going to do is we're going to import the action bar class so that we can use uh, two of the methods in order to customize our action bar. So we're going to say import android.support.b7.app.actionbar okay all right so that's imported and we're going to use our two add two methods to our on create method here in main activity let's get support action bar set options and here we're going to say action bar dot display show custom next line get support action bar thank you very much autocomplete set Custom view. All right, and we're going to set our view using our resource layout custom action bar, which is the name of our layout file that we created for our action bar. All right, so we're going to save here. And next, we're going to start setting up our action bar. But before that, let's restart our application in Android in our emulator. All right, so as you can see, our action bar is now blank. And the reason for that is the custom action bar XML file doesn't have anything except for the linear layout, but there's no text view, there's no buttons, there's no images, there's there's nothing. So in order to add any content to our action bar, we have to add content in our layout file. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to include is a text view. Well, but before that, I'm gonna make a couple changes to the linear layout XML attributes. So I'm going to include Android gravity for the center. Oops. So that's going to center the text in the middle. And I'm going to add another one, Android orientation equal to horizontal. Now the reason I'm setting this as horizontal is I mean it is a horizontal bar so just by default it's set to vertical but I want it so that if I want to add other images or buttons later on I can have them all line up from horizontally all right so next we're going to add our text view
Okay, so before I forget this part, style equals style text appearance oops dot app compat dot widget dot action bar Style, text appearance, app compat, widget, action bar, title. Perfect. All right. This is, this is a required resource when we're setting up our custom action bar. Okay. And now for the basics, Android layout. Yep. Height. Set that equal to wrap content. And we'll do the same thing again for our layout width. We want it so that our text is the it renders the 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 text view just wraps around the text that we have written up here. We don't want it to take up the entire action bar. We just want it to take up whatever our text is here. This way we can add other things later on. But for this tutorial, we're only gonna work on the text view. Alright, and let's say Android text. We'll set that equal to our main what a smiley face and Android let's say text color and we're gonna set this one equal to yellow so F F F F zero zero save okay and that appears to be everything so let's go ahead and start this activity in our virtual device and uh, see how it looks all right and now as you can see we have the text, our main activity, and it's centered, it's yellow, and it's exactly everything I could have hoped and dreamed for. So that concludes this tutorial. Uh, the Just to recap, what we're doing here is in our main activity.java, we're importing action bar and using these two methods to allow us to set a custom layout that will render the, the images and text that we see in our action bar. Within that layout, we set it up how we want. I set mine to be linear layout, which is with everything centered. And I want the orientation to be horizontal just so that anything that's added will render horizontally. And within our, here we have a text view. We set our text color. We made the layout wrap the content of its height and width so it doesn't take up too much space. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's everything. My suggestion when building your apps is to create a custom layout for each activity so that you can set a distinct style for your application. You know, for Instagram, the text, the, there's a text view in the middle that says Instagram, or actually, pardon, it's an image view that is someone created that says Instagram, but it's got like their custom little logo thing or whatever. And that's in the middle. And on the left, there's the uh, on the right hand side, there's an icon that allows you to open your messages and so on and so forth. But, you know, that the, the idea is that you set up, figure out what your style, your action bar will be, and then you create different. You, you can set different layouts for each activity of your app. So that concludes our tutorial. Uh, if you again, if you like this content, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Uh, I'll have a little bit more in-depth information on this on my website, codingfanatic.com. You can go ahead and read read it right there. And uh, I'll also upload the source code for this to my GitHub account. It'll be a repo called Action Bar. So, uh, yeah, uh, all the social media, GitHub, website, all that information is there in the description. Uh, don't forget to, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can see when I upload new videos like this each week. Once again, everyone, I'm your host, Richard Clark. And thank you all so much for tuning in to Coding Fanatic. I will see you all on the next one. Peace.